Sammy often looked up at the night sky wearing his space helmet. He wished he could be the first shopkeeper on the moon. But it seemed so far away. Frank and Buster were out on their daily patrol, looking for anyone who might need their help. Uh-oh. Did you put fuel in the plane this morning, Buster? Uh, no. Uh, neither did I. Hello? Josie? I wonder where Josie and Sammy have got to. We'd better take a look inside, Buster. See if anyone's about. Good idea, Frank. Anybody here? Oh, uh, hello, Frank. Hello, Buster. Hello, hello Josie. Josie. We've come to get some fuel for the plane. And to pick up the groceries. Oh, sorry, but Sammy hasn't packed them up yet. Where is Sammy? He's out the back. He's been acting a bit strange all morning. How strange? It's a little hard to say. <gasps> Maybe I'll just pop out the back and see if he's all right, eh? Good idea, Buster. I'll help Josie pack the groceries. Thanks. Right then. <gasps> oh. Uh, morning, Sammy. Oh, uh, 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 uh good day, Buster. Um, what are you doing? Oh, you'll think it's silly. You can tell me, Sammy. Well, I was moving slowly to see what it was like to walk on the moon. Wow. That's good. Yeah. I really wish I was an astronaut. I told you it was silly. Well, maybe we can help. How? Well, the moon is such a long way away. Don't worry, Sammy. Frank will think of something. Is Sammy all right, Buster? He wants to walk on the moon. What? He wants to walk on... I'll tell you later. You'd better tell me later. Bye. Sammy felt a lot better. With the Koala brothers to help him, maybe his dream could come true. Frank? Buster? Could you build a rocket? I suppose I could. Why, Buster? It's just Sammy really needs one. Hmm, I see. Oh, well, I'm sure we've got some stuff we could use. Uh, I know. I'll go and get the odds and ends box. Great idea, Frank. Buster liked it when Frank got the odds and ends box out. There was always something inside he hadn't seen for ages. Hey, Frank. Oops. It's my old telescope. I wonder if it still works. Give it a whirl. Cooey! Oh. What you doing? I'm going to make Sammy a rocket. Oh, that's nice. A rocket. That's right, Ned. Sammy really needs one. Can I help? Wow. Sure. I'd better go and see Sammy. Tell him the good news about his rocket. I should have it finished later. That's great, Frank. Bye. 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 See yous. Frank didn't waste any time. He was going to make Sammy a rocket to be proud of. <laughs> With Ned's help, of course. What do you think this is, Ned? Mm, a funnel, Frank? No, Ned. It's the top of a rocket. The nose cone. Well... It looks like a funnel to me. Well, yes, it is a funnel, but I'm going to use it as the top of Sammy's rocket. Right. Meanwhile, Buster was helping Sammy train for his space journey. They were pretending the back of his store was the moon. How are you feeling, Sammy? Oh, gee, Buster, I feel like I'm floating on air. Sammy, there isn't any air on the moon. And no air. So, how am I going to breathe, Buster? Well, you can take some air with you. Really? Oh, you had me worried there for a minute. Oh, I thought we might be thirsty. Thanks, Josie. Ooh, yeah, thanks. 
Hey, Josie, could you get some balloons from the store? Sure. What size? Big ones. As big as you can find. Wow, Frank. It's a beauty. The funnel really works. Yeah. I hope Sammy likes it. It's Sammy and Buster. They're just in time. Good day, all. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> How's the rocket? It's a beauty, Buster. Great. Sammy's just getting ready. Ready for what? Ready for blast off. He can't wait to get to the moon. Oh! Frank suddenly realised the rocket may not be quite what Sammy was expecting. He's got a box on his head, Frank. I know, Ned. I think it's a space helmet. What's with the balloons? It's his air supply. Good day, everyone. Good day, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Right. Where's the rocket? <sighs> um, it's over there. Thanks, Frank. Ah. Uh, it's a bit small. Uh, I'm sorry, Sammy. I didn't know you wanted a real rocket. Uh, it's all right, Frank. You did your best. Hey, you might not have the rocket, but we've got the next best thing. What's that, Frank? Our plane. Good idea. You could go on a night flight, Sammy. You won't get to the moon, but you'll be a lot nearer to it. Let's give it a go. So, as the moon shone down on the outback, Sammy set off with Frank. He was going to be the first shopkeeper nearly on the moon. Look, look! Oh, it's beautiful, Frank. Wow. It may have been one small flight for Frank, but it meant a great deal to Sammy. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed your night flight, Sammy. Oh, the moon was so wonderful, like a, a big shiny balloon. But it did make me realise just how far away it really is. I mean, even if I had a rocket, a big one, it would take days to get there, and I couldn't leave the store for that long, could I? I guess not, Sammy. You really love the moon, don't you, Sammy? Yeah. It's just a shame it's so far away. Here, have a look through this. Wow! Great, isn't it? It's like I can almost touch the moon. You can have it if you'd like. What? The moon? No, Sammy. My telescope. <gasps> oh, thanks, Buster. And thanks, everyone. We're here to help, Sammy. What about your balloons? You can have them if you like. There's enough for one each. Thanks, Sammy. Great. Thanks. thanks. So whenever the night was clear, Sammy would close his door and look at the moon. It looked so close, he felt like the first shopkeeper to walk on the moon. <laughs> Thanks to the Koala brothers. You might have noticed that while Mitzi likes to help, she doesn't really like to do what others tell her to do. Over this way a bit, Frank. Can I help? You are helping, Mitzi. Everyone's got an important job to do, and your job is to pass the nails. So how come it's your job to tell us what to do? Uh, making a seesaw can be a dangerous business, Mitzi, and someone has to be in charge. Hammer, Buster. Hammer, Frank. Nails, Mitzi. But how come you're the someone in charge, Frank? Well, uh, I guess it was my idea to build the seesaw. And I organised everything and then found you and Buster to help, so that's why I'm in charge. Well, I'm going to do something of my own so I can be in charge. All Mitzi needed now was to come up with her own idea. 
By the next day, Hi, Mitzi Archie. had worked out a plan. <laughs> Hello, Mitzi. I'm just finishing my morning routine. <laughs> I'm going on a big adventure. You don't say. Yeah. Do you want to come? On a big adventure? Oh, count me in. Adventure is my middle name. What are we waiting for? Not so fast, Archie. It's my idea, you know, and I'm in charge. So you have to do as I say. Stand in line. Do we have everything we need? Of course we do. I've got it all organised. Let's go. Come on. Hop, two, two three. three. Hop, two, 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 two three. three. And halt. Hi, Ned. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Archie. Do you want to come on our big adventure? Oh, big adventure? Yeah, it's going to be exciting and tough and maybe even dangerous. And I'm in charge. Uh, well, I told Frank and Buster that I'd help them clean the plane. <laughs> ah, come on, Ned, old chap. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, not to be missed. I don't think so. I, uh... Oh, come on, Ned. Oh. You can help clean oh. the plane any day. Oh, all right. Hey, Ned, I'm in charge. You won't know where to go unless you follow me. Stand in line. Nice to have you on board, Mr. Ned. And hop, two, three. Hop, two, three. Two, two, three. Two, three. Uh, hop. Mitzi, shouldn't we tell someone where we're going? Don't worry, Ned. We'll be back before anyone even notices. But come on. Hop, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Hop. Later that morning, Frank and Buster were hard at work cleaning the plane. Phew, it's a scorcher. <sighs> I wonder what's happened to Ned. He said he'd come and help us, didn't he? Yep, sure did. Odd. Meanwhile, Mitzi was enjoying being in charge. <laughs> but it wasn't quite so much fun for her friends. Uh, come on! Uh, uh, Hold on, Mitzi. Uh, uh. OK, now we're going to play hide-and-seek. Archie, you hide first. Ned and I will count to ten. But I'm in charge, Ned. <sighs> Eight, nine, nine ten. ten. OK, Archie, coming to get you, ready or not. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Found you. Too easy. Oh, Dash. Can I hide next? Oh, good idea, Mr. Ned. Just wait a second. I'm in charge and I say it's my turn to hide next. So come on, start counting. <laughs> One, two, three. Good day, Frank. Buster. Hi, Sammy. Have you seen Mitzi? Uh, no. It's just. I've got her groceries. She's... she's not in. I wonder where she's gone. First Ned, and now Mitzi. It's a mystery. There was something of a mystery at the waterhole as well. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Archie? Where are you? Oh, what's this? Food, water, a map and compass. But no Archie. Strange. Oh, can't we stop now, Mitzi? I'm tired. Just a bit further, Ned. I'm looking for a good spot to have a picnic. Ah, splendid. But Mitzi... I'm in charge, Ned. Remember? Right. This is a good place. Where's the bag with the food, Archie? Uh, uh the, the bag? Ah... Uh... I thought you bought it, Mitzi. Me? Yeah, you're in charge. But... but... I thought... Oh, no! I want to go home. The map and compass are in the bag, too. With the food. And I don't know where home is. 
But you did tell someone where we were going. Oh. Mitzi realised that being in charge wasn't as easy as she'd thought. Definitely. And Mitzi wasn't the only one who was worried. First Ned, then Mitzi, and now Archie as well. Where could they be? Well, wherever they are, they must be getting pretty hungry by now. There's only one thing for it. We'll have to fly out and find them. Get ready for takeoff, Buster. Right, Frank. Luckily for Mitzi, Ned and Archie were ready and willing to help too. I'm sorry, Archie. Sorry, Ned. I haven't been a very good leader, have I? Uh, it's all right, Mitzi. Shit up. As soon as we're at the top, we'll know exactly where we are and we'll be as right as rain. <sighs> oh, don't worry, Mitzi. I'll make a flag to wave. Someone will find us. Thanks, Ned. I say... They must be out here somewhere. It's no use, Frank. I can't see them anywhere. They can't have gone too far, Buster. There might be some clues on the ground. Prepare to land. OK, Frank. Hey, look! It's them! Hey, over here! Let's go! OK, Ned. Looks like some wool from Archie's jumper. Have a look down here, Buster. Footprints in the sand. Mitzi? <laughs> Frank! Uh, uh, yes. uh, are we glad to see you? Oh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> well, Mitzi's big adventure had certainly been exciting, tough and even dangerous but it had also nearly been a big disaster. <sighs> you know, being in charge is pretty hard work. Yeah. Next time I'm in charge, I'll remember everything. The map and the compass. And you'll remember to bring the food too, I presume. Uh-huh. And, and we'll go at night so we can find our way by the stars. I'll bring plenty of marshmallows and hot chocolate. It'll be the adventure of a lifetime. <gasps> Anyone want to come? Missy. <laughs> I know, I know. And next time, I promise to tell everyone where I'm going before I set out. <laughs> and Mitzi did keep her promise. So all's well that ends well. <laughs> Luckily, this time, the Koala brothers were there to help. Although Archie the Crocodile loved to be with his friends, he sometimes liked to go for a nice quiet walk all by himself. Ah. Yahoo! Ha! This is great, Archie. Where are we going to go next? I really like these long walks. They're so peaceful and quiet, don't you think? Yes, Mitzi. Ah. Uh... Hey, beat you back to the homestead. Yahoo! <laughs> The trouble was that it wasn't always easy for him to be on his own when he wanted to be. You know, George, I've been thinking. I'd really like to do something on my own for a change, but I don't know what. Have you thought about maybe going camping? Camping? Yeah, there's nothing like it. Just you, the stars and the crickets, and maybe a nice cup of tea. Perfect if you want to be on your own. I say, that does sound good. You know, George, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go camping. Morning. Morning. Morning, chaps. What's up? Archie's just decided that he's going to go camping. Oh. Who are you going with, Archie? Oh, no one. Just me. Won't you get a bit lonely? Oh, no, 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 no. I could go camping with you if you'd like. Oh, thanks, Mitzi, but I think I'd like to try camping on my own. Have you got a tent? A tent? Oh, not yet, Frank. I'll pick one up at Sammy's. Well, can't dawdle. Must go and get all my things. Bye. We'll see you in town, Archie. Bye. We've got to get some fuel for the plane. I don't think I'd like to camp out on my own. Me neither. 
Morning, Sammy. Josie. Good Hi, Archie. Archie. I'm after a tent. Ah, going camping, are you? That's right. When were you planning to go? Tonight. Oh, could I come with you, Archie? Maybe I could help with the tent. Oh, thanks, Josie. But I'd like to do it on my own. Oh. Have you ever been camping before, Archie? Uh, no. But I'm sure there's nothing to it. Ah. Oh, isn't this tent a bit small? Oh, that's because the tent's folded up oh. inside. You'll need to put it up when you get there. Oh, <laughs> of course I will. You might need to practice putting it up, Archie. It can be a bit tricky at first. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Thank you. See you soon. Archie was in too much of a hurry to listen to advice from anyone. <laughs> Whoa! Hello there, Archie. Hi, Archie. You got your tent, then? That's right. As soon as it gets dark, I'll simply put up my little tent and gaze up at the stars. Ah, I think you may need a few more bits and pieces, Archie. Camping out isn't as simple as it looks. You need to do a bit of planning before you go. Don't worry, chaps. I'll be fine. Bye. Later in the outback, Archie looked for a good place to set up camp for the night. Oh, I say, that looks like just the spot. Ah, now, let's see. <coughs> ah, mm -hmm. uh, hmm. um, ah. Now then, um, first you will need a sturdy mallet and some tent pegs. Ah, uh, oh dear, I, ooh, ah, lay out your ground sheet and, um, ooh. Archie began to realise that camping out by yourself wasn't nearly as simple as he'd thought. In the sky above, Frank and Buster were out on patrol. What's that down there, Frank? Don't know for sure, Buster. Looks like someone might need our help. Let's go and have a closer look. Good idea, Frank. Hello, Archie. Ah, hello, chaps. How's it going? Um, not too well, I'm afraid. You having a bit of trouble with your tent? I can't seem to get it to stay up. Aha. Uh -huh. And I forgot to bring some food and water. Um, to tell you the truth, camping out seems a little trickier than I thought. Hmm. And it looks like you might be a bit cold tonight without a sleeping bag. Or some tea to keep you warm. I just wanted to camp out by myself. But I don't really know the first thing about camping. I can't even put up my own tent. You don't have to do it all by yourself, Archie. We can help. Yeah. And luckily, Buster and I know a thing or two about camping out. Do you really think you could show me how it's done? Of course we could, Archie. We're the Koala Brothers. We're, We're here to help. Let's start by giving you a lift back to Sammy's store. We can get all the camping things you need there. <laughs> Mallet, eggs, ground sheet, pots, pans, pillow and sleeping bag. So Archie accepted some help from his friends and began to learn about what was needed to go camping. Hey, uh, don't forget your water. Hi, everyone. How's the camping going, Archie? Uh, well, it's, it's a bit more um, uh, complicated than I thought, Mitzi. You sure you don't want me to go camping with you, Archie? Uh, no, thank you very much, Mitzi. I'd rather go camping by myself. Oh, well, good luck then. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. The Koala brothers thought that Archie might like to practice camping out a little closer to home, so they set up camp by the waterhole. Uh, uh, hooray! This is more like it. <laughs> ah, my own little fireplace. Yeah, you can make yourself some tea when it gets cold. Oh, oh thanks, chaps. OK, Archie, looks like you're all set. Are you sure you don't want us to stay with you, Archie? Yes, I'm sure. Thank you, Buster. I'll be fine. We'll be back first thing in the morning to see how you're getting on. Bye. Bye, Archie. See you tomorrow, then. Later, when it got dark, Archie sat outside his tent and looked up at the stars. Ah, 
what could be nicer? 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. Later, when Archie had counted all the stars he could see and drunk all the mugs of tea he could drink, he decided to go to bed. As Archie lay in his sleeping bag, all warm and cosy, he started to wonder what Frank and Buster were doing. And Ned and Mitzi. Mm. I bet Mitzi would have liked this. And Ned and Josie. Though Archie liked being on his own, he was beginning to miss his friends a bit too. Oh, I say, what's that? Bit noisy tonight. Shh, quiet everyone. It's supposed to be a surprise. Uh, um, Archie. Oh, it's you, Buster. Uh, I was wondering what the noise was. How are you, Archie? Glad to see you. And I'm glad to see you. Are you having a nice time? Yes, yes I am. Uh, but I was thinking it would be even nicer if my friends were here too. Well then, are you ready for a surprise? Oh, hello, Archie. Hello. Hi. Oh, my. Hello, all. I say, what a lovely surprise. Can we camp out with you tonight, Archie? Oh, of course you can, Mitzi. We just didn't want to miss out on all the fun. Plenty of stars to go around, Mr. Ned. Ha! <laughs> Yay! Oh, look at that one. So thanks to the Koala Brothers, everyone camped out with Archie under the stars that night. Look, a shooting star. Yeah. Make a wish, everyone. And Archie realised that sometimes it was nice to do things on your own, and other times it was nice to share the fun of doing things with your friends. <laughs> Shout.